Now the second sort of consistency check is between the motion map and the graphs of position, velocity and acceleration. Now, are these consistent? Are this bunch of graphs consistent with this motion map? Well, first thing to do is to be clear in which direction we're considering our position, velocity and acceleration. In this case, let's assume it's in the x direction and that x points along there. Anything else would be silly in this case, but you need to check that. OK, so look at the motion map. What we see is that it's moving in a positive x direction. So we want a positive velocity. It starts off going fast, then gets a bit slower, and then slower still. So we want a positive velocity. It's going to be on the plus side here. And we want it to be going down, but still positive. So this graph seems to agree with this. OK, so the position is steadily increasing. Yep. As the velocity is getting less, the acceleration will be negative. Yes. So this all seems to fit.